Hi there. Thank you. Today, about ego. What is ego? Does true existence have an ego? Ego is a thought construct of oneself. It's like a house of cards where the cards are thoughts painstakingly stacked together over time, forward after forward after forward. And the bigger the house, more extensive, more elaborate, more maintenance it needs, more needs to be secured, worried about, worries, worries all the time. Extensive egos a source of a lot of worrying, a lot of concerns. They are so precious. They have to be safeguarded at all times, maintained, high maintenance. And because there are just thoughts, card of thoughts, and thoughts are empty mental concepts. There is nothing in them. There is nothing to hold on to. They can collapse into nothingness where they came from at any time. So it's highly sensitive. They need to be taken care of all the time. Bigger the ego, more worries. And unfortunately, people are clinging on to their egos for their life. They live in this wrong understanding of what ego is and I think that ego is such an important element in one's life to sort of hold on to this emptiness at all costs and it's just so costly there is so much pain worrying concerns anxiety connected with just the maintenance of one's ego and needless to say that when you connect with true existence, the ego starts fading away gradually more and more and more. The, and more it fades away, the more liberated you are from the ego, from the constraints of the ego. All these definitions about oneself. I'm like this, I'm like that, I'm like that, I like this, I don't like that, I do this, I don't do that, so on, so on. What if I do that and not what if that happens to me? And so on and so on and so on. It's endless. Endless. And true existence without ego is complete liberation from all these constraints. Unlimited. All is one. Nothing to worry about. No egos to safeguard, maintain. Just like that. There are so many concepts that we grow up with that are completely, completely mistaken. And as we connect with true existence while practicing now thinking, getting away from surface thoughts, we are just liberating ourselves, shedding all these wrong concepts one by one by one. It takes time and effort, as I always say, but it's, it's the only thing to do. Practice and connect. And everything else happens by itself. You see, this is, this is the great thing about it, also about the ego. You don't need to do anything to maybe shrink your ego, or God forbid, fight against your ego, anything silly like that. You just practice and everything else happens by itself, happens spontaneously from within. All the true changes that are really beneficial come from within. Not really from forcing from without, but outside, but from within. And it comes with practice. And even this whole thing now, these few minutes that I've been talking away, I would just empty mental concepts without practice. They don't mean anything without you actually practicing and experiencing what I'm sharing here. 
So we're all share, sharing material that we're sort of familiar with, that we experience firsthand. This is how it matters. This is how it makes a difference. Otherwise, it's just nothing. <sighs> Gone. Just like that. Just like the ego. So no, do not worry about it. Do not waste time with talking, worrying, anything like that. Just practice. I will talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.